hey y'all hey welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back to my channel if you're not new so today's video is totally different from what we usually do today we are doing glitter car coasters or tumbler toppers depending on what you want to use it for so i have my amazon molds here that i got from amazon i will put that link in the description they're two separate packs as you can tell by the color they come in sets four I am going to be using Blue Moon by Carmuchu Creations. I will put her website link in the description. And I love this color. And I'm also going to be using Silver Glitz, Pink Chaos, and Phoenix. I will put my discount code in the description so you guys can save 15% off your glitter. So, I am doing... I did about 2 ounces of epoxy. And as you can see, it's KS resin, UV, the UV resin, not the liquidy split, split this time. Um, just because, you know, the sun and people's cars and stuff. So I like to use the UV resin for that. And it's not like a UV light, it just protects from UV resin. So in my medicine cups, I used about 10 milliliters of epoxy for each coaster. You can use more, but I would strongly suggest using um, not more. Don't fill it up to the top because if you decide to put a decal on it or if you have to do a little bit of sanding because of your glitter, you want to make sure that you have room so that it doesn't overflow off the coaster. So therefore, I do about 10 milliliters. They're the perfect size, as you can see from the beginning video. To me, they're the perfect size. They fit in the cars great. And I have wiggle room in case something goes wrong because you never know when you're using epoxy or resin. So we're going to start with Phoenix. And oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And I'm just going to, I poured my epoxy in first and then I'm going to pour my glitter in. And I like whenever I do it for my epoxy to be a little thick. That way I know that the glitter is going to settle. You don't want to over mix your epoxy when you're mixing. I would say mix it for about two minutes because you're going to have to mix it some more when you put the glitter in. And if you over mix it, then it's not going to do what you want it to do. So now we got it in there and I'm just going to go ahead and start pouring and I'm going to let you guys enjoy while I pour. Oh, I forgot. Let me, say this. let me say this. I also spray alcohol because these molds sometimes can repel the epoxy. So I spray the alcohol in there to kind of give it like a, a little base or if you want to say. So I put that in there and it also helps with the micro bubbles as well that's inside the epoxy that you can't really see anymore because now you have this dark glitter in there. But that's what I do and I'm just going to pour it in. Yeah, I'm cheap, so I'm going to try to scrape the, the bottom of the bottom. Like, I'm literally scraping for my life. But I also try to get as much out because if I'm doing, like, sets of coasters, I want them to make sure that they're 100% even and 100% the same. So, uh, I'll be scraping for life. And then I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. And, yeah, I'm still scraping, girl. Girl, stop being cheap. What I'm going to do is I am going to um, move it around a little bit just so that it makes sure it hits all the corners and there's no gaps in between the mold and where the resin starts. And then I'm going to heat it up with my torch or you can use a heat gun. And as you see, the thing caught on fire because of the alcohol is burning. So that's also popping the bubbles, but I don't recommend you do that. That's just my way. Don't do that because you might catch some of fire, girl. Don't catch nothing of fire, okay? be smart 
so now we're gonna go ahead and do the second one i'm not gonna talk i'm gonna let you guys enjoy it and you can kind of see those micro bubbles and you can see that it's you know they're popping in there now for when the alcohol was burning into it and we're gonna go in with pink chaos see y'all enjoy it <laughs> What I'm gonna do is next is I'm gonna go in with my torch or heat gun, whichever you prefer, and I'm gonna go in and pop those bubbles that have risen to the top that's settled. I be sure to hit the middle really, really well because that's where those bubbles will go for some odd reason. They just settle in the middle. So I be sure to hit them and you can kind of see them pop right here. And then after that, I usually wait uh, probably about a good maybe 10 more minutes and then I'll go back in with my torch. If you guys like this video, make sure to like it if you want, subscribe if you want, comment below. Let me know if you want if you try this, if you want to see more of these, what do you want to see? All right, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.